Hello everyone, you Dr. Ziyata here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 8.30b from chapter 8 Continuous System of Mechanical Vibration by 6th edition by S.S. S. Rao. So that is 8.30. B part from mechanical vibration by SS Rao. So, problem description compute first three natural frequencies and corresponding mode shapes of the transverse vibration of uniform beam of rectangular cross section. Width or breadth is 100 millimeter depth is 300 millimeter length is 2 meter modulus of elasticity is 20.5 into 10 to raise per 10 newton per meter square density is 7.83 into 10 to raise per 3 kilogram per meter cube for the beam when both ends are built in so this is sixth end beam so objective is to find first three natural frequencies and to plot first three mode shapes and equations for them are natural frequency this is equation 8.93 of chapter 8 of the book mechanical vibration so omega is equal to beta ei over rho a or beta l squared ei rho a l so e is there i is the second moment of area a is the area so here bl is the solution of frequency equation and when the both ends are fixed so frequency equation is cos beta and l in cos hyperbolic beta and l is equal to one so need to solve this equation and then for first three roots and then need to substitute those roots here to get natural frequency and then the mod shape so wn is the mod shape and that is expression for mod shape and it cn here is one and that alpha n is that is expression for alpha n so to, to calculate wn beta n is required so which is computed from here so then i'm going to solve this in matlab and in matlab i'm going to use vpa solve function so it solve equation so it will be used to solve that equation frequency equation and the double this is also used for solving the equation and then the plot so plot is uh, to create 2d plot in matlab so the first step is to solve frequency equation this frequency equation is taken from figure 8.15 of chapter 8 for both six six beam and the frequency equation is cos beta n l times by cos hyperbolic beta n l is equal to 1 so to solve that frequency equation i have already recorded two videos in mechanical vibration solution so that is uh, example 8.17 solution of frequency equation for single root and then solution of frequency equation for five root so uh, uh, matlab script to solve equation to find roots so that is explained in this example 8.18 video and i am going to use the script which is used there so that is a MATLAB. I'm using the layout as a default layout of it, and I'm going to start a new live script. So for live script, you have two options: either you can output on right or output in line. I'm using output in line. So that is here. Double percentage sign for title, and that is problem eight point natural frequency and more shape of six B. So I am going to maximize it. So it's being maximized here. So the first one is I need to solve frequency equation. So that is solve frequency equation and put enter. So it is now a heading here. 
for frequency equation. So to solve frequency equation, I am going to use uh, MATLAB symbolic solve function. VPA solve is the next. So it evaluates values for particular uh, equation. And here is it the VPA first need to write equation and that equation need to write and then variable here is BL and then need to give initial parameter. So range to search the values. So I am looking for the first three modes. So I am going to now write a small script to calculate beta l or to solve frequency equation so that clc to clear screen and then clear workspace so then i have started a syms that is a symbolic system bl is the variable and then equation is cos beta l into cos hyperbolic beta l is equal to one and then so here is a vpa solve equation that is equation for variable bl and i and j i'm trying to find the values between i and j so what is i here so i i have defined here like 1 to 10 and j is the next value of it so for loop i have created that bl is equal to 0 that is a an empty metric and then uh, whatever is the VPA value, I am going to convert into double and then the cumulative BLI will be so it fill all the values and then I am going to display that BLI. So I have just executed the function and it gave me three values. So you can see it. So the first value is 4.73, the second one is 7.852, and the third one is 10.9956. So these values are here. So for fix 6 being the first value is 4.73. So then there's the first, second is 7.8, and the third one is 10.99. So these are the first three values I have computed. So in this way, you can compute that values of beta L. And now I am going to use these three values to find frequency. So now the next step is to achieve first objective to find first three natural frequencies. And that's a formula uh, I'm going to use that omega is equal to B L E I rho A L. So first I need to, uh, uh, in MATLAB, I need to input uh, beam parameters and then compute a and i so i am going to add next heading as beam properties and then i'll add all beam properties here so beam properties length as 2 meter width as 100 millimeter depth as 300 millimeter e 20.5 into 10 to per 10 rho as 7.83 into 10 to per 3 then area is b times d and i is equal to b times uh, bd cubed over 12 so these are the beam properties i have added so the next one i'm going to add a heading to find natural frequency so that is the next heading to find natural frequency and now i am going to input that formula of natural frequency so that is the natural frequency omega n is equal to bli square square root e i rho e l raised by 4 and then natural frequency in hertz so that are the natural frequency in hertz so i can run that one it is so once it is being run so these are the three values of natural frequency so that is the solution manual for 8.30 and for 6 6 beam First natural frequency is 2,2479, the third one 6830, third is 13393, and these are the values here. So 10 to raise power 4, it is, so these are the values 2,479, uh, then 6832, and the third one is 13,3.94. So these are the natural frequencies calculated, and they are uh, same as.
after some execution manual. So the next step is to achieve the second objective to plot first three mode shapes. So for the first three mode shapes, here is an expression. So uh, the values which you got here from frequency equation beta L. So from there need to get beta and then need to substitute that beta in this equation. So first A and B to calculate. So I am going to write a function for this one in MATLAB. So the next heading I am adding here as more shapes and the more shape I need to first write a function. So remember if you have to use a function within the script so that should go right at the bottom. So function name is more shape and I am giving it bl, dx and l. So dx l is the total length and dx is like to plot it. So x is from 0 to l with a step size of dx. So and then b is bl over l so that bl is here we have already calculated and then I have first find alpha and alpha is written as a and then for simplicity I cosine of bl I use as c cosine of uh, sine of bl as s cosine of hyperbolic bl as ch and then sine of sine hyperbolic as sh and then that is the alpha which is sine hyperbolic minus sine over cosine hyperbolic cosine minus cosine hyperbolic so that is sine hyperbolic minus sine over cosine minus cosine hyperbolic of bl so that alpha I calculated there and then I need to find that C. So C is again, so because I have uh, used those values to calculate A, so that same variable name I'm giving it as C is cos Bx and similarly S is sine B into X, cos hyperbolic B into X and sine and then I got W. So it is sine hyperbolic minus sine plus a times by cosine hyperbolic minus c so that is the function because i have to use it for the three times so that's why i have written a function for that so that is a function so now i am going to execute that function for three values of bl so first i am going to uh, 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 draw base state and then i'll i'm going to plot uh, all other shapes. So now for the base state, so I am going to uh, set here dx as 0 0.01. So x is from 0 to 12 within interval of 0 0.01, and then I have used that w0 that is uh, like the base state. And I just because for the base state, so there will be no uh, deformation or displacement. So I set that displacement as 0. So plot x. And then that is the mode shape for, or uh, that is the uh, W, which is normal function, and then uh, black color with dashed line. So I set hold on, and then I set the labels for it. So this will compute the base state. So that is the base state of B. So I'm going to clear that. Uh, so here, if you right click, and then you can clear this output. So next, I'm going to uh, get the uh, script for first mode. So that is the first mode. So for the first mode, I am going to use that the first value of BLI. So the first value of BLI is 4.73, and then I'm giving it. Uh, that mod shape function so output as w1 so bl is the first value uh, first root of that frequency equation dx defined as 001 and l is already defined as 2 so that is for the first mode and i'm going to repeat it for second and third mode so 
so for second mode i have used second root and then i computed that using mod shape uh, function here w2 and then for the third mode again is the same one so bl3 which is uh, uh, that is 10.96 value and then i'll compute that w3 using all that value and then i'm going to add the legend base state first mode second mode and third mode and i'm going to plot it so i'm going to run that function so when i'm going to run that function so that is more shapes the three more shapes so i am open figure in a new window and then i here using view uh, plot browser so i can plot that so that is the base state then that is the first mode that is the first mode then that is the second mode and then that is the third mode so that first three modes are plotted so now that second objective is being achieved so this is and then here i can minimize it and all these parameters are here so i can just so this is uh, how to plot natural frequencies and mod when both ends are fixed or built in and here in the solution manual the approximate figure is also given there so that is the for the fixed fix beam approximate figure i hope you find this video helpful thank you very much for watching